Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a scarf using a lemon peel stitch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make kind of a chunky scarf. So I'm going to use two strands together um, at one time. So I'm making this for my brother-in-law. So I'm going to make it in tones of brown. So this is um, the Red Heart Super Saver. And it is... Um, Arian Fleck is the name of the color, and this is just a Red Heart Super Saver brown color that I thought um, matched the brown here really nicely. So all you're going to need is you're going to need some yarn to make this. Um, I'm using a 7 millimeter hook here, so since I'm using two strands together, you're going to need some scissors, and you're also going to need a measuring tape here. So for a guy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this five inches wide so I'll need it uh, roughly just about this wide so I may make it just a little bit wider but not much wider than that and then I need it to be about 50 to 60 inches long is what I'm thinking um, lengthwise so stay tuned and um, we will get started right away so here again I'm using two strands of yarn at one time and I'm going to make this with the lemon peel stitch. So I have my 7 millimeter hook. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a slip knot on my hook. And then I'm going to chain to that 5 inch line. So that 5 inches long or wide here. And it's a good idea to count these just because um, you want to make sure you have the same amount of stitches in each line. You don't want to get confused there. Um, if you do get confused, it's a good idea to use a stitch marker also just in case. Here, I'm going to make it a little bit wider here just because I think that's a that's not a totally bad length for. Let me just see how long we've got this so far. So this is a few more to make five inches. I may actually do it to six inches. So let's do about three more here. And it's going to stretch some too. But let's do about three more stitches there. So I'm going to do three more chain stitches. One, two, three. So here's my chain right here and it stretches nicely. I like that. So I'm going to do one more chain as my turning chain. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work in the second chain from hook. And if you don't know how to do the lemon pill stitch, I will link that in the description below how to do this stitch. But I'll also tell you here how to do it. So I'm going to work in that second chain from hook. And I'm just going to do a single crochet in that first chain. And then the next one, I'm going to do a double crochet in the next one. And I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way down, doing single crochet and then double crochet. I'm going to work this all the way down my stitch, and I'm trying not to work too tight. I have a tendency to kind of work tight here, so I'm trying not to work too tight. But I'm just going to continue working that down, single crochet and then double crochet all the way down my chain here and it's really pretty easy working with two strands of yarn And it does make the project go by faster. And I do like the color variations it gives you too when you work with two strands. And this stitch, the good thing about this stitch is it's going to look the same front or back, which is really nice. And you just got to keep doing the going back and forth between single crochet and double crochet. All the way down. This brown is getting a little messy. 
All right, so we've made one. So what we're gonna do is first I'm going to change the battery because my battery is going dead. All right, so now since my last stitch was a double stitch, I'm just gonna chain one and I'm gonna turn. And then my first stitch here is gonna be the opposite. So it's gonna be a single crochet. So I just do a single crochet and then the next stitch I did here is a single crochet, so I'm going to make a double crochet into that stitch. And you do that pattern all the way down, single crochet, double crochet, but where you made your double crochet before, you're working a single crochet, and where you made your single crochet before, you're working a double crochet. So you're just going to do that pattern. You're going to do it all the way down. Guys, if you like what you're seeing, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really help me out, and it would mean the world to me if you would just subscribe to my channel, everyone. I'm making this for someone that lives in Colorado, so this, using two strands, is just going to be super, super warm. single crochet and our last one is going to be a double crochet so we're going to make a double crochet here we're going to chain one and we're going to turn and we're going to make a single crochet in the stitch right here now if we were doing um, if we had made a single crochet here what we would do is we would um, chain two and then we would turn and make a double crochet or make yes a double crochet here but since we finished off with a double crochet we're going to make a single crochet in this first stitch and we're going to continue all the way down and you can see a little bit of a difference so this is a single crochet here and this is a double crochet you can see it's a little bit taller has a little bit more yarn a little bit more height than what the single crochet does so again you're going to continue this pattern all the way down So again, I'm ending with a double crochet, so I'm going to do um, one chain, and then I'm going to turn, and I'm going to uh, do a double crochet in that first stitch. And so here, one thing I like about this pattern is it looks the same um, front or back, so there's really no wrong side to it. So that's one thing I really like about the pattern, and I just love the the design that it makes. I think it's just really, really beautiful. So again, chain one, and I'm going to do a single crochet in the first one, and then a double crochet in the next, and I'm just going to continue that all the way down. And here for a scarf on this one, I'm just going to continue this until I get to the length that I need. So this is going to be quite some time here. I'm going to continue this until I get to around, you know, 50 to 60 inches anyway. So this is going to take quite some time to do. Even with it being double stranded in a 7 inch hook, or 7 millimeter hook, I should say, wow, inch would be a lot. So again, just same thing, back and forth, all the way down.
let's see about how long I've got it here. I just want to see how long it's going to take me to make this. So this is about eight inches. I'm going to do a couple more inches here and then we'll measure it again. I have an easier time measuring stuff when it's more even numbers. How long we have it now. Don't you love this stitch? Isn't this beautiful? Holy crap. I just really think this is one of the most beautiful stitches. All right, so we've got right about 10 inches there. So 10 inches took me about 22 minutes times six. So I've got, you know, this is going to take me, what, over a little over an hour still to do. So... But that's really not bad. I just want to let you know in real time how long it's actually taking me to do because I am going to be speeding this up and I'm going to go off camera. So, so that's 132 minutes. So that's a little over two hours, about two and a quarter hours. So this whole thing to finish it is going to take me about uh, two, two and a quarter hours, two hours, 15 minutes, somewhere around there to finish this whole thing. So I'm going to go off camera now and I will meet you back here when we are almost done, guys. All right, guys, I'm at my last couple of stitches here. Oh, wait, am I doing the right stitch there? No, nope, I'm not. Look. So here I am, last couple of stitches. Woohoo! This ended up being about 65 inches long, which is really great. Um, now I'm going to do is just cut my yarn. So here I'm just going to go ahead and work this in right here. I like this. Just work these ends in. Thankfully this stitch is very forgiving, so you really won't be able to see them at all once they're worked in. So here I'm just working these ends in. I'm just kind of going back and forth over it. And I'm using my smaller hook and I'm going to pull one through. And I'm going to tie this off also just so that I know it's really, really good and secure. So I'll probably tie it, I don't know, two or three times just to make sure I've got this good and secure and that it's not going to come out. And then once I'm done with this end, then I'm going to unroll it and go to the other end. <laughs> it's it, it's quite big, so um, requires long so we're going to uh, <laughs> unroll this as we go and then I'm going to kind of do the same thing for this other end I'm just going to work this in and um, go back and forth 
over this and then I'm going to um, end up tying this one off also so here I'm just going to tie it two or three times again Guys, I hope you enjoyed making this with me. I think this is just one of the most beautiful stitches there are. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about this stitch. And um, thanks for watching, everybody. And I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Happy hooking, everyone.